Hey guys, Midwest Camp. Today we got sodium, methanol, sodium methoxide. After one hour, I do believe it's some less leftover sodium salt. One hour in, it's taken on a red color, but when spread out, it goes to the yellowy color. Some decent reflux. So we dissolved the oil, we took the oil and separated it by SEP funnel and then put it in a container and then extracted three times with chloroform. I didn't show that, we've all seen that a million times. So the chloroform extract had about 60 mils of oil and about 200 mils is the total volume. So about 140 mils of chloroform. Now I put that in here with 150 milliliters of a saturated sodium metabisulfite solution and we are mixing the absolute heck out of it. Um, I tested this and it took forever to form the precipitate so I went inside to wait for a moment and when I came back out we have this. So on a larger scale I, I guess it must have just made itself a lot faster. Uh, this is the problem of scaling. Uh, so. Here we have the 2,5-dimethoxybenzaldehyde metabisulfite adduct, or bisulfite adduct, sorry. And we're going to filter that off. So I've been not really doing chemistry much, but um, I thought this would be a good video since I made methyl iodide in the 2 hydroxy 5 methoxybenzaldehyde It hit me as the obvious choice for the next video. So I did this, it was like a sludgy, it didn't even, it looked like oily or greasy and um, I washed it twice with DCM and it took on disappearance. Uh, used about 100 mils piece uh, to wash it and I'm kind of letting it dry out here uh, before I uh, package it up. But it's a very nice color and it's a good purity for the bisulfite adduct. Um, I DCM, and look at that. Uh, this is a brand new bottle. Uh, brand new. Um, so I actually had two of these and another one liter and somehow every DCM bottle I have the lid failed. That's all the DCM I have after about three gallons or two gallons and a liter sorry. Um, so fun times I'm really uh, really pissed off about that. So uh, this is it. We'll go ahead and react this with some uh, sodium carbonate and uh, get that going some ice crystals.
All right, so I got about 114 grams of sodium carbonate decahydrate, and this is about a 0.5 mole, 0.4 or 0.5. Sorry, I'm having a brain fart. It's one of the two. Anyways, uh, it's okay to use a little extra. Um, the 25 dimethoxy version of benzaldehyde um, does not undergo Kanitsara reaction as easily due to the bulky methoxy group sticking off the side. Um, anyways, there's, there's more to it than that, but, um, we're going to add our, um, 2,5-dimethoxybenzaldehyde bisulfite addict, or sulfite addict, whatever, bisulfite, yeah. And we're going to add it to this as soon as it's all dissolved. We'll come back. Okay, it's pretty well dissolved. Things with this molecule are very slow when it comes to like its reaction here and how it crystallizes out normally and it's a it's a really slow procedure. So we're gonna try to keep this just a little bit and maybe uh, give it some time. Hope we can push it all the way to completion. We also have a excess, well, I mean excess, little excess of sodium carbonate. I'm actually here in the garage right now, but as you can see, we're getting it. I heated it um, just to the melting point uh, while the bisulfite addict was forming, and uh, as you can tell, it's it's uh, solidifying its crystals. It's beautiful. almost there so big fail i keep forgetting to record while i'm doing this and i don't i don't have enough to go back and do it again i did everything at once like a genius would so anyways we have 50 50 ethanol in water and we are heating this to get it boiling as soon as possible you know, once it does we'll take it off the heat let it uh, slow down not all will dissolve a lot will. Uh, part of it will melt and get cleaned out by the water and the alcohol. Uh, the impurities will dissolve into the alcohol. And then as it uh, re-solidifies, it'll be clean. Oh, nice. Another cluster over there. Oh, now that's beautiful, man. So we filtered off the crystals. And they're beautiful. Um, 
we're gonna collect this weigh it see what we got um this is it it's the end